The Ministry of Works and Transport is making use of technology designed to replace failed culverts, which it says removes the need to disrupt traffic to facilitate such repairs. At a side visit on Sunday, Works Minister Rohan Sinanan said it also means they'll be able to finish the repairs in a shorter time frame when compared to traditional measures. Janine Brown reports. Those who travel along the Solomon Hochoy Highway would have noticed that over the last two months or so, there's work being done in the vicinity of Freeport. What it is is a tunneling system designed to replace failed culverts, thus allowing water to flow freely under the roadway from one side to the other. So what it actually does is that you, you put the, the, the foam work down and then you cut as you, as you put in the cylinders. So what you notice down there, you have um, actual physical labor um, with tools that were designed to take the dirt out as you go forward. The work is being facilitated by both local contractors and Chinese labor through the China Railway Company. They're expected to be completed this coming Thursday, putting the project duration at about eight weeks. According to Minister Sinanan, the traditional method would have taken about three months. He said the technology is also more cost effective. I think this project here would have cost just about $2 million. And the engineers estimate if we had gone the traditional way, it could have been upwards of $7 million. Director of Highways Navin Ram Singh said they've identified a total of 10 failed culverts across the country. However, he said further inspection needs to be done to ascertain whether the technology shown here can be applied. Janine Brown, TTT News.